and welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over how to create a profile in Diet and Wellness Plus. So first things first, I'm going to bring your attention over here to the right side of the screen, this little gray dock. Towards the top of the dock is a small apple with plus in the center. This is the Diet and Wellness Plus app. So go ahead and click on that and Diet and Wellness Plus will load for you. And when it does, you'll see a black menu bar towards the top of the screen, and at the right side of that is a small icon of a person. Go ahead and click on that, and a drop-down menu comes up, and you can select Create New Profile. So go ahead and do that, and start entering your information. Start with your name, and then you'll notice beneath your name is a box to check if your course is being offered in Canada. If your course is being offered in the United States, please leave this box blank. Next, you can enter your birth date and your gender and your height, which is in feet and inches, your weight, which is in pounds, and beneath this are three little boxes. You can go ahead and click the smoker box if you're a smoker. If you're not, go ahead and leave that blank. If you're a strict vegetarian or vegan, go ahead and click that box. If you don't strictly eat vegetarian or vegan every day of the week, go ahead and leave that box blank. Now the last two questions are essentially alternatives to one another. If you don't want to answer more questions about your exercise habits, such as uh, the amount of time you spend doing light, moderate, and rigorous exercise, as well as um, questions about your body fat percent, go ahead and leave this box blank and skip to this question. It says activity level. When you click here, four options will come up and you can go ahead and pick what fits you best. Okay. Uh, if you do want a more detailed report and you know things like your body fat percent um, and the, the type of exercise that you like to do every week, uh, go ahead and click that and eight additional questions will come up. Okay. Um, first question, do you know your body fat percentage? If you don't, you can click no. If you do, um, a little box will come up that allows you to enter it. Okay. Um, number two, what type of occupation do you have? Three options come up. Um, you see sedentary or desk occupation, um, which would be something like working at a call center um, or at a computer. Okay. Um, the middle option, standing or moving occupation. This would be, uh, you know, for someone who works in retail and is um, constantly moving, uh, bending, standing, lifting. Okay. Uh, an active occupation would be something like a mail person, a mail delivery person, um, okay, um, or, or something like that. The third question, how many hours per week do you perform this occupation? So go ahead and enter the amount of time you work that job per week. Number four, how much time do you spend on leisure time and activities of daily living on an average week? Okay, so that's activities like cleaning the house, doing laundry, um, dishes, gardening, things like that. And remember uh, to keep in mind that it's asking for a weekly average. So go ahead and enter the amount of time that you do activities like that during the week. Okay. Uh, question number five. How would you rate your walking pace? There's three options. And of course, I don't know if you're not sure. Uh, you can always click that. Um, strolling or casual is the slowest speed. Um, steady, which is two to three miles an hour, is generally um, what the average person walks. Um, brisk, three to four miles an hour, is the fastest pace you can pick. Okay. Question six, how much time do you spend performing light physical exercise on an average week? So again, those same options are going to come up. Um, now, light physical exercise is going to be something like very gentle yoga, stretching, uh, walking, things like that. So go ahead and enter your weekly average for light exercise in option six. All right, number seven, how much time do you spend performing moderate physical exercise in an average week? The same options come up. Uh, now moderate physical exercise would be something like jogging um, you know, or bicycling. Um, okay, so go ahead and enter your weekly average in here. And if you don't know, of course, you can always click I don't know. Okay, and this box right here, only check this if you're a professional athlete, um, okay, uh, or, or it will alter your profile um, quite a bit. So professional athletes are much different than uh, average people. So go ahead and you can click that if you are. If you're not, go ahead and leave that blank. 
Uh, question number eight, your last question. How much time do you spend performing high intensity physical exercise in an average week? High intensity exercise is the type of exercise where you can barely talk to the person next to you, um, that your breath is being used to perform the, the activity that you're doing. Um, so it's hard for you to, to hold a conversation or sing a song uh, while you're, you're doing this physical exercise. So go ahead and enter uh, the time per week that you spend doing rigorous high intensity exercise. And of course, if you don't know, you can always select, I don't know. And that's all there is to it. Now all you have to do is click submit and your profile has been created. Thanks for watching.